Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I, I told you in the beginning that uh, I have a chronic health problem and now I'm really so worn out that I cannot st stand really anymore. So therefore allow me to sit and share with you uh, what, you know, you gave to me. As you understand, I give every inch of my life, every minute, every second of my life to giving, to nurturing the love, the mutual support that you have so lovely, uh, so nicely uh, described now, Uli, and to, 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 to make it possible to find space for this love, for this dignifying warmth uh, and respect that we, that you manifested here. <laughs> and for me, this is more worth more than one million dollars. I feel I am the richest person on this planet by being with you because the gifts you have given me during these days, these are gifts that cannot be paid for. These are absolutely invaluable, you know, amazing gifts that you have given me and, and made it possible for me to, to do the next step in my private life, in my own life, to, to have the courage to make the next step and to continue on this path. So please know that you are my family. It's not that you are partners, you are participants, you are colleagues, you are friends. You are much more to me. You are really the human family, the family that I have. And I live for you. I do not live for anything else. I live for you. And you have given me so much strength and love that I don't know what to say. I have no words to express my gratitude for you. Of course, you know, I should thank Francis for holding the camera. I should say <laughs> thank Mark for holding the camera so <laughs> courageously. Uh, Uli for, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's granted. <laughs> Emmanuel, absolutely, and, and, and uh, Father uh, Jean D'Amour, that you somehow carried us mm. over a long time. It was a preparation of years, more than a year, years of preparation, and that you carried this, and you were so courageous in carrying that in a situation that is very fragile, very nervous, and you were courageous, you kept your ha head high, for you stood up for dignity. <laughs> so, and you somehow managed to invite all the authorities up to the government. You have invited them into understanding. And you have invited our dear professor here, who has then done a huge work to do this inclusion work, to, to invite into understanding what dignity is and that we all hold your hands in working for a future where it is never again, never again a genocide like it was perpetrated here against the Tutsi and moderate Hutu, that this will never anywhere on this planet happen again. As I said before, we live in difficult times, not just in Rwanda, the entire humanity is in, in a crisis time. And it's genocide, you could call it sociocide and ecocide, what is threatening and we have to stand together. If we as a human family, we have to learn to stand together and to hold hands in the, in the face of huge challenges that that are standing before us as a human family. So I think what we here did was manifesting something that humankind has to learn from all of you and us. So we manifested that it's possible to come together from many continents, as uh, Warner, you said, from many continents, many faith backgrounds, many colors, many trans, you know, disciplines. It's, it's transdisciplinary. We are very, very different people. And after three days, four days, we are a family. 
and uh, it's possible to do that uh, across all fault lines and possible differences so to really go to the bat bottom or to the foundation of us being human of us sharing and nurturing and cherishing our dignity mutually so uh, i have no thanks no words to thank you i am uh, so enriched and so moved and so touched that uh, I have uh, I lack the words to thank you. Just know that that my entire being is 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 with you. You are my family. I am living for you. Thank you very very much. Mm -hmm.